Hi, this is Colton Carnival with a Fast Graphs analysis of Borg Warner. The first graph we're going to look at today is the earnings of the company, which is the reason why we even continue to do research on this stock. First thing I want to do is talk about why we're excited about this stock. Since 1999, they've had an earnings growth rate of 11.2%, and they've only had two really down years, one being after the 08 recession and in recent years in 2015. With that being said, I do want to show you how well the price has tracked the earnings of the company. If we add the price, we can see that generally where the earnings went, the stock price followed. Here we can see times of undervaluation and times of overvaluation, but in the long run, we can see that the stock has generally tended to revert back to the mean. The last valuation reference line that I do want to add is the normal PE. And this is the PE ratio that the market has tended to trade the stock at over the last 20 years. And as we can see, it's a 14.5 PE ratio, which is just around the 15 PE ratio valuation that we are currently giving it. As previously stated before, the stock has always tended to revert back to the mean, and we can see that as it revolves around the blue line. And this is why we're super excited about this stock, because at its current valuation, we believe it is undervalued. And if it were to return back to this mean in the next three years, investors could realize gains of 29.3% annualized. One thing we do like about this company is its ability to recover after down periods. And we can see that following the 08 recession, where the company, if we scroll out this time frame, the company grew at a 14.5% growth rate. And as we can see back in 2015, they had a slight down period of negative 7%, but grew at 8% and 19% the following year. As stated in the article, the drop in earnings was primarily related to three major things a slower light vehicle production growth in China, an unfavorable mix of light vehicle production in North America, and weak vehicle markets around the world. Though this is an important topic to cover, we believe these are just market circumstances and not fundamental problems of the company. And we've seen this company recover over the last couple years with estimates proving likewise. The next thing I want to focus on are the analyst estimates of Borg Warner, And we can find that by scrolling down to the forecasting calculators provided by Fast Graphs. When looking at this first graph, analysts are expecting Borg Warner to grow at an 11.2%. And that's a consensus estimate of 18 18 analysts for 2018, 18 analysts for 2019, and 11 analysts for 2020. Based on these estimates and low valuation of Borg Warner, if the stock were to return to a 15 PE ratio over the next two and a half years, we could be seeing a 31.8% annualized rate of return. But if the stock were to only stay at a 10.5 PE ratio, investors could realize 12.8% annualized rate of return, which in turn explains the low risk of the company. If you would like a more in-depth analysis on why we believe Borg Warner will return to a normal valuation of a 15 PE ratio, please refer to our article on Seeking Alpha. As a final note, I would like to remind subscribers that Fast Graphs is a tool to think with and not made for making investment decisions alone. Fast Graphs lets you quickly and efficiently identify research candidates to help save you time in your investment research.